recently did a video recommending that people use the SD made application to uninstall and completely delete a pre-installed application. And since I have not covered how this is done yet, I thought it would be a good idea to show you today. Now this tutorial does require root access since we're going to actually be deleting these apps, but I have covered ways to disable pre-installed and bloatware applications without root access as well. So if you do not have root access, I'll be including links to those tutorials in the video description below. I highly recommend you check those out. But if you have root access and you want to permanently uninstall and delete some pre-installed apps, then this video will show you how that is done. Now with that said, we need to install the SD made application from the Play Store. It is a free app that has some features that can be unlocked if you want to pay for the pro version. I only have the free version installed right here. So once that is installed, go ahead and open it up. And once that application is open, we're gonna tap the hamburger menu icon at the top left and then select the app control option. So this is gonna take us to the app control menu, which gives us a brief rundown of what this application or what this feature can do. And we're gonna tap the green refresh button at the bottom right, and then get that super user request that we are going to grant. So we're gonna grant SD made root access. You likely will get this pop-up that appears afterwards. Go ahead and tap next. We need to allow access, go ahead and allow, tap next. And then we're going to allow permissions usage as well. So tap allow, find the SD made application in the list and grant that access. We're going to go back a couple of times and now we can tap done. Now when you get this refreshed list, you're likely going to see that these are user installed apps and that system apps are not in the list. So we're going to go into the settings of the app. Again, we're going to find the app control section and then tap the checkbox for include system apps. Now you don't have to do this, but if you want to be able to uninstall and delete system apps or pre-installed apps that are not uninstalled via usual methods, then you're going to need to enable that option first. Then we can go back, go back into the Go back into the app control section of the app and then do a refresh. Now with that done, you can see that we have a lot more applications available for us. So we're gonna go ahead and change the sort. And now we have a list of all of the pre-installed applications that are on our device. Now I do want to warn everybody to be careful what you install, what you uninstall using this application. For example, if we were to uninstall the keyboard application and we did not have an alternative already installed, then we would not be able to type anything in the operating system. So again, be careful with what you uninstall. I'm going to be uninstalling the Android Auto application in this demonstration. It's an application that I have zero use for on this device and I cannot uninstall the application using traditional methods. So what we do is we tap the application that we want to uninstall. We get a lot of details of the app in this list. Find out what permissions it has. We can do a scan to find out how much space it's taking up. And we have a lot of other options. We can kill the app, we can force stop the app, we can export the app. But again, we want to delete the app completely and uninstall it from the device. So we're gonna use this delete option down here at the bottom. It's gonna bring up a confirmation prompt. Go ahead and tap delete again. And then wait for the SD made application 
to completely uninstall the app. Now, after you delete an application with SD made, I recommend you use the refresh icon to get a refreshed list of the applications you have installed. And you can see here, even though we have deleted the app, it is still in this list. But we can go in here and again, do a scan to find out it is indeed completely deleted. And this application is registering as zero bytes in size. So that is how we use the SD made application to completely uninstall and delete a pre-installed or bloatware app on Android. Again, that does require root access, but it is a very powerful application that has a lot of features built inside.